Hello, Kulas, and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the very latest as usual. We start with defender Clement Lenglet, as it has been reported by Spanish publication Sport that Juventus are seriously considering Lenglet. Of course, there have been other clubs showing interest like Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League, but Sport have been saying that Juve are seriously considering a move for him. We are going to be discussing on that. Secondly, talking on this other transfer, rumor claiming that Angel Di Maria, who just left Paris Saint-Germain as a free agent, have been linked with Barcelona again. We are going to be looking at that. Then finally, we are going to be talking about veteran defender Gerard Piquet, as it has been reported that Piquet is not thinking about retirement right now, despite injury problems. Of course, we have been hearing a lot of reports lately saying that Piquet might retire at the end of next season, but that is not the case according to the defender. We are going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Awesome. After saying goodbye to Cellini, Juventus are in the market for a centre-back. They are interested in Barcelona's Clement Lenglet. The Barca player is not in Xavi's plans and Xavi told him just recently in a meeting that he is not in his plans. Of course, Arago has renewed his contract and Christensen is also arriving on a Bosman deal. Juventus think that Lenglet is a good opportunity on the market because he is not that expensive compared to other defenders and they have an excellent relationship with Barcelona. Lenglet has a deal with Barca until June 2026 and he is open to a move because he wants to play regular football. Lenglet is also an option for Tottenham Hotspur. They wanted a loan move, of course they wanted to loan him for two seasons but new rules mean it could only be for one. They would pay all his wage, a key factor for Barcelona to accept that proposal. So if Juventus decide to enter the fight, then, you know they may also try for a loan with better conditions or they negotiate a transfer. Then on to the next story of discussion. Usman Dembele might not renew his contract and the price for the replacement, that is Rafinha, which Barca have in mind. Rafinha's price is really escalating. So that's, that has put Barca in a bind as you know they hope to add another winger to the attack in order to continue rebuilding. An old familiar name has surfaced, Angel Di Maria, the Argentine, once again showed his quality in the La Finalissima, a Super Cup between the European and the South American champions. Of course, Di Maria scored once as Argentina and dealt with Italy three goals to nil. Angel Di Maria has been linked with a move to Camp Nou several times and has was even once announced as a signing by the club official account, though it was a hoax perpetrated by a hacker. The story goes that Lionel Messi wanted Di Maria at Barcelona after Neymar left Paris Saint-Germain. Di Maria wanted to go, but for whatever reason, the signing never happened. Instead, Barcelona opted for Dembele and eventually Felipe Coutinho. Since then, he's been linked with um, Barcelona from time to time, but it's never happened. Instead, Neymar, Di Maria and Messi are re reunited at Paris Saint-Germain. Now Di Maria is a free agent and can choose any club he wants. You know, he still has that quality and La Liga experience and he would cost nothing in terms of a transfer fee, but his rapid advancing age could be a big problem. How many more years will a 34-year-old man play? So I don't think a move for Angel Di Maria makes sense. Barca should continue to exploit other opportunities. And of course, Rafinha right now, the deal is so complicated because leads are just escalating the price and it's really difficult for Barcelona at the moment. So let's see how the upcoming months turn out to be for Barcelona in terms of new arrivals. Then on to the next and final story of discussion, Barcelona defender Gerard Piquet is reportedly not considering retirement despite missing the end of the season due to injury. The centre-back was a key player for Barca this past season, making 39 appearances in all competition, but didn't feature again after coming off early against Real Mallorca. Mundo Deportivo are reporting that Piquet currently has every intention of seeing out his contract, his current contract that expires in 2024, and he is not thinking about hanging up his boot. Piquet has previously said he would retire the moment he thinks he can't help Barca anymore, but he is convinced he can put his injury problems behind him. 
The 35-year-old defender has the summer to rest but is clearly heading towards the end of his illustrious career at the Camp Nou. Barca also have Ronald Arago, Eric Garcia and Andres Christensen for next season but are expected to try and offload Samuel Umtiti, Oscar Minguesa and Clement Lenglet. There has also been talk of uh, Xavi wanting Barcelona to sign a powerful centre-back such as Khalidou Koulibaly to strengthen his back line in the summer. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest Nelson Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.